As chairman, chief executive officer, and president of Brown Foreman Corporation, Paul Varga occupies one of the loftiest perches in the Louisville business community. A Louisville native, Paul has been with the company for virtually all of his professional career. But when he originally joined Brown Foreman as a summer intern in 1986, he had no way of knowing he was embarking on a lifetime career. At the time, I'd been studying the combination of uh, finance and marketing, which was a departure, frankly, for uh, somebody who had been raised in a family where most people were pursuing a medical path. And so uh, my training leading up to the first day that I worked here was not extensive, and so I kind of had to learn it on the job. Apparently, Paul was an excellent on-the-job learner because it wasn't long before he was a key leader in Brown Foreman's marketing department, placed in charge of overseeing the company's most important brand, Jack Daniels. Paul was one of our, you know, really most thoughtful marketing people, and he just was always willing to help, always willing to pile in. He got involved in different projects that were probably outside of the scope of his day job. But he always brought a tremendous thoughtfulness and care to, to his work. Beginning in the mid-90s, Paul helped the company establish its global brand management system, which today continues to provide marketing direction on behalf of all Brown Foreman's brands throughout the world. But the company he oversees now is much different than it was over 20 years ago. It was a, a lot more manageable than it is today to be able to oversee what we were managing. Uh, it's just the company has grown so much and we have tried to replicate what we think is most effective here in Louisville, Kentucky and taken it out to the world, adjusting for each of the cultures where we do business. But we've had to hire just more and more people at higher levels to oversee these businesses we've been building. By the time Paul assumed primary responsibility for Brown Foreman's beverage business in 2003, he'd already built a solid resume with the company. But even so, he was so relatively young at the time that there were more than a few people who wondered if such an early promotion was the wisest move. The company was surprised that he was chosen to lead, primarily just because he was so young. He had, I think, just turned 40. And I think many of the older executives weren't quite sure. Those of us who were closer to his age and closer to contemporaries totally got it at that time. But he had to work very hard to, to earn the respect of um, not only our employees, but our other key stakeholders, you know, Wall Street, um, the whole thing. And he's just done it brilliantly. And now everybody, of course, realizes how incredibly effective he is. And I'm glad Junior Achievement has recognized that as well. Paul's unique business touch soon eliminated any doubt he was the right man for the job. Under his watch, Brown Foreman's reported annual operating income has grown from $378 million to $685 million, representing a compound annual growth rate of 12%. And much of that has been due to Paul's preference to lead not through intimidation, but through collaboration. He was always open to input and influence. I think he is a leader. He had that wonderful combination of being confident, but also being vulnerable, being willing to be influenced. He knew when it was time to lead, and he knew when it was time to follow. And he did both of those things extremely well. I think one of the biggest traits of a good business person is how you handle adversity and how you handle success and don't get too high or don't get too low and you, and, you, and you remain steady and make good wise decisions and not emotional decisions. And I think Paul, I've seen him and you know, he's, he's been in this position for quite a long time, good economies and bad economies and he always seems to be a pretty stable, level-headed person. One of the things that made Paul so effective was that first he pushed himself to always be better. He's very competitive, he was a competitive tennis player, but then he also pushed you to be better and even though I worked with him for years and was very comfortable with him every time I walked into his office it's like man it's game time got to be on my toes he's going to be thinking intensely about the subject we need to talk about and I need to be thinking and working on it just as intensely as he is and that's one of the things that's made him an incredibly effective leader. Having been a relatively young success story Paul Vargas still has many years to go before thinking about retirement. 
But as long as he's in the front office, he won't just be focused on the here and now, but also on what the future holds for Brown Foreman. We do things in a way that, well, of course, we're trying to produce results for today, but uh, I mean, I, I, it's our charge, I think, from the Brown family to make sure that this place uh, goes on and thrives and continues to be successful for multiple generations of both the Brown family and the Brown Foreman Corporation. What makes it so wonderful and that we're so happy to see people appreciating today is how authentic it is. The fact that we open up the front doors of our distilleries and invite people in to see how our products are made and they can enjoy tastings, they can hear about the history. All of these are components in the success of bourbon and I personally feel like we're at early stages of it still. I really do believe that the bourbon category and, and this bodes well for Brown Foreman has a long way ahead of it. Paul Varga's success story is built upon many things his tenacity, his willingness to learn, his collaborative spirit, his competitiveness, and much more. But what makes his success even sweeter is that the man who's achieved so much in guiding the fortunes of one of Louisville's most important businesses is himself a favorite son of Louisville. And that local connection has made a huge difference. He's homegrown. He's, you know, one of our hometown heroes. And certainly to lead one of the largest, most successful companies in the country, you know, doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be from here. And of course, a lot of our big companies here are run by folks that aren't from here. And so it's a real added benefit to have him been raised in Louisville. We're really proud of our hometown roots. He's very, very well connected in the community, cares enormously about it holistically. And remember, people in jobs like this can be distracted by what's going on in Europe or what's going on in Asia or, you know, and, and Paul's mindful of all those things, but he never has forgotten where he came from.